Well, I wanted to show you what my garden looks like so far. We've got some cucumbers planted here, here and here. And then I still need to get some zucchini going, but we've got some peppers. Do you like green peppers, red peppers, jalapenos to make some salsa? We've got some acorn squash right here where it's wet. That's gonna be Indian corn. And then I'll be planting some raspberries right behind it. And then over here is my pumpkin patch. So all of these are gonna be pumpkins. And one of the pumpkins, this one right there, is gonna be a ginormous pumpkin. This is where I'm gonna plant my tomatoes and they're gonna crawl up on that arch. It'd be really cool. Right here I have planted by seeds, carrots, um, radishes, potatoes, onions. I still need to do some garlic and some beets. And then I've just got some wildflowers over here. Now my grandpa made me these years and years ago, probably about 10 years ago, and they're called petunia towers. And you plant petunias, and so that'll grow into kind of a tree. It'll hang and cascade down, but they're also sprinklers. So you just plug them in and you start them to water all the seeds. And then I just got wildflowers all along by where your parents park here. Pretty cool, right? I'll keep you updated. Welcome back, friends. Happy Wednesday. Okay, question of the day. Do plants eat breakfast and lunch? Yes or no? Do plants eat breakfast or lunch? If you said no, you're right. But they do eat. But they don't have a special time of day that they eat like we do. They don't have tummies that growl to let them know that they're hungry. But they need to eat by water and the bright sunshine because that Sunshine is going to be absorbed through the leaves to turn it into food for the plant. Oh, no synthesis. Okay, so that's the question of the day. Good memories. Now, let's warm up our brains by playing this game. Do you remember how to play this game? We've played it a lot this year, and you're getting really good at it. So this time, I'm going to take two of the pictures away. We have parts of a plant. Roots, stem, leaf, flower. Okay, you ready? Put your eyes in your lap. Eyes in your lap. No peeking. Maybe I'll do three. I'm gonna do three. Okay, look. Ah, three are missing. Let's look. Hmm. We have this column still full, but the other three are missing something. So, what's missing right here? What color? What color? You're right. Red. This is the red row. But what column are we in? We are doing roots. Let's see if we're right. Roots. Red. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. What about over here? What's missing? What color? Green. What picture is it? You're right. It is a green leaf. Ding, 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 ding. Last one. What color? This is the row. It is purple. And what is our picture? Did you say a purple flower? Ding, 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 ding. Good job if you did. Okay, eyes on your lap, eyes on your lap. No peeking. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna pick three again. So, check this out, eyes up. What is missing? Hmm, let's start, should we start right here? 
What color is it? I don't know if you can tell, but it's supposed to be pink, but it kind of looks white, doesn't it? Okay, so which picture is it? Hmm, what's your column? It's what the flower grows on and the leaves grow on. It's a pink stem. Ding, 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 ding. Parts of the flower. Okay, next, let's do this row. What color? It is purple. Did you say a purple leaf? You're right. Ding, 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 ding. Last one. Look at here, here it is. What color is that gonna be? Uh-huh, and what picture? You guessed it, a blue flower. Ding, ding, ding. Should we do one more? Let's just do one more. Let's see, close your eyes, put your eyes in your lap, eyes in your lap, no peeking. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Okay, eyes up. What do you see? What's missing? Should we start over here in this empty spot? What color is it gonna be? You're right. What about the picture? They grow underground. It is a green root. Yay! Ding, 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 ding. Next, we have right here. What's missing? What color? What picture? <gasps> did you say a pink leaf? If you did, you're right. Ding, 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 ding. And the very last one goes right here. What color? Yep, yep, yep. What picture? If you say the red flower, you're right. Nice work, preschool. Okay. I think our brains are warmed up. Let's stand for the flag salute. Put your right hand in the air in the air. Put your right hand in the air in the air. Put your right hand on your hip. Put your right hand on your neck. Put your right hand on your heart, on your heart. Thumb, thumb. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice work, soldiers. Okay, go ahead and let's count through the days of the, of the month. We are cruising to the end. We're almost done with the month of April. Let's make it rain all the way to Wacky Wednesday. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. What two numbers make 29? Two, 20, and then nine. Two and a nine. Okay, what comes after cloud? Uh, actually, it's a, a red umbrella. Cloud. Hmm. Let's look at the pattern a little bit. Do you notice how diagonally they're connected to the same picture? Red, 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 cloud, 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 green, green, green. Did you say a green umbrella? Oh my goodness. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if we're right. <gasps> do, 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 do. 29, green umbrella. You're so smart. I just miss you all so much. It's just so boring doing this all by myself. But I'm glad that you're watching me. 
at home. Okay, today is Wacky Wednesday, April 29, 2020. Two, zero, two, zero. Okay, we need a tally mark. Yesterday we bundled it and Zero the Hero came to visit. But we don't need Zero the Hero today because we are going to start another bundle with the number one, right? We're going to count five fives. And when you get to the 120, you're going to, here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. We're going to start over again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 121 days of school. Now, let's see. How are we going to write 121? Do you know? I know 21, right? So it must be like this, 21, 100. Is that right? No, that's not right. That says 211. Silly teacher. I guess I didn't know what I was talking about. Let's try it again. What goes here? Oh, a what? And then we need a 21. So we need a, yep, a two, and then a 121 days smarter. I love it. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is there snow? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather? Do you know? It's, what do you think? Did you look out your window? I see something up in the sky. And it's not beautiful blue skies. I see clouds. Do you see clouds? But guess what? The temperature is really warm outside. You might be able to run through sprinklers. Hey. So let's put some cloudies up and hopefully tomorrow it'll be sunny for you. Oh, what happened? Yesterday it was a tie with the sunny and cloudy, but who jumped ahead today? Cloudy did, so now they're ahead by one day. Awesome. Hey, days of the week today, let's be mice. Get your little mice voices. You ready? Days of the week, squeak, squeak. Days of the week, squeak, squeak. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, squeak, squeak. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. mice voices. Okay, three questions. The first question is, what is today? Garbage truck, right? W wacky Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Ding, ding, ding. What was yesterday? T -t you got it. Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. What will tomorrow be? Hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Good job. You're so smart. Our season is still spring. It is cloudy and it is warm out. It might get hot out today too. We'll have to, we'll have to pay attention to the weather. And also, you know what? Because it's so warm today, there may be a possibility of thunderstorm tonight. That's a good spring storm. We haven't had a thunderstorm yet, 
But when that warm air mixes with cool air, it makes thunder. Okay, let's go back to plants. Now, you need lots of things to make plants grow, but some things you don't need. So we're gonna do a little sort about what's gonna help plants grow. All right, let me move these. We don't need those right now. Okay. Okay, what helps plants grow? We know that a plant is a living thing and it needs food, water, air, but it also needs that bright, beautiful, golden sun for photosynthesis, okay? But I have some other items in here that it might need or it might not. So let's start. Do plants need ice cream to grow? <laughs> no. They don't need ice cream to grow. That's not gonna help. No, 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 no. Do plants need sunshine to grow? Ding, ding. Yes, totally. It needs sun. Some plants don't need a lot of sun, like shade plants, like ferns and begonias. So, but they need a little bit of sun. But some need lots of sun and some need just a little bit of sun. Okay? Do plants need milk? Milk does a body good. It helps us get strong bones. It helps us grow good, but it's not going to help a plant grow good. So we're going to put it over here with ice cream. Since ice cream is made out of milk, right? How about a bone? Do bones help plants grow? No, there's not much nourishment in a bone. It, doesn't, it takes forever to decompose as well. Okay. Does plants need soil? Yes, you've got to plant your seed in soil. Soil and sunshine. How about soda? Soda pop, like Leland on our Zoom meeting on Monday. He shared that pop soda. Is that going to help a plant? No, it's not going to help a plant. Air. Does air help plants grow? Yes, you've got to have oxygen. You've got to breathe. Do bees help plants grow? We kind of talked about this a little bit. Yes, bees are so important because they pollinate the plants to get them to produce fruit. So yes, they do help plants grow. Last one. This was my idea on Zoom for the letter P. <gasps> pizza. Does pizza help plants grow? No. Does pizza help people grow? Yes, but not plants. They don't need pizza. That's silly. All right, so. Sun, soil, air, and bees are gonna make your plants grow healthy and strong. Okay, I have a story for you today. And let's do up in the garden, down in the dirt. Spine, front cover, back cover, up in the garden and down in the dirt is called the t -t title. And Kate Messner wrote the story. So she is the author. Christopher Silas Neal drew the pictures. So he is the illustrator. Illustrator. Awesome. Okay. Up in the garden. Up in the garden. I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. That's kind of like me when I planned my garden. I drew it out on a piece of paper first. And then, so I made my plan and then I made my garden. You can do that too. Spring shines down to melt the sleepy snow. 
Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. Well, what's down there? I ask. What is down under the ground? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. They help decompose everything from last year. So they'll eat up roots and plants that have fallen down. They'll eat it up. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So they are preparing their garden, which is what we had to do too. We had to take out all the stuff from last year and we had to row to till it up with a tractor. Also had to use a wheelbarrow to carry weeds away. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke and they curl up tight and hide in planted suits of armor, roly poly round. Do you have roly polies at your house? They do a good job eating last year's crops. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and I sprinkle the seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says, and we pat them down to snuggle in the dark. So they planted their seeds in rows and gave them a drink of water. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. So we are getting to be summertime and it's hot. She's drinking some water. She's resting under the shade of a tree because it is hard work working in the garden. Down in the dirt, the earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark place. Nice and cool under the ground and she's hot up here. She's sweating. Ooh. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! Nana sprayed her to cool her down as we're giving all the veggies and flowers a drink. There's our mama Robin feeding her babies. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, the water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider still walks over the stream. Do you see the spider? It's right there. Tiptoeing around all the water. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Do you like fresh tomatoes? Ladybugs are really good for aphids. They're these little green bugs that will destroy your plants. They'll, and they are naughty little things. But ladybugs are so good because they eat them up. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. 
Robins are meat eaters, so they eat bugs and worms. Up in the garden, we pick cucumbers and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for their bed. Nighttime. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble, cut worms while I sleep. Did you know that skunks will eat worms? I didn't. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh. But, what a fun garden. <gasps> but snap, someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Do you ever see a garter snake? They're just little snakes. We have them up on the hill sometimes. They don't eat people, but they just eat little bugs. They're not bad. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Cool, a sunflower house. So now we are getting into what season? If pumpkins are around. Yeah, autumn, fall. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web. Strand by silken strand, she'll munch on moths tonight. Spiders get to work at nighttime. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines. And we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're resorting food for cooler's day, cooler days ahead. They got a stockpile food into their food chambers under the ground for the winter time. Up in the garden, Frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow, ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. They're all getting ready for winter. When grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. Snow, the end. And then the whole cycle starts again. That's why I love gardening and plants and flowers. They're just amazing plants and we just would not survive without them. I hope you enjoyed that story. Tomorrow, we'll be finishing up plants. And I hope you enjoy the weather today. It's gonna be nice and warm, so have fun. Run, jump, and play, but don't get in anybody's way. We will talk to you tomorrow for Thursday. Bye.